Hi, my name is Brad Schmitz. Um, I'm with Family Missions Company, and I'm currently serving in Puerto Rico with my wife, Rachel, and our six children. And I was asked to uh, give a reflection on Easter, and uh, today is the fifth Sunday in Lent, and the Gospel is according to John, and it's a, a story we're all familiar with. Uh, it's the resurrection of Lazarus, and I feel like it's a, uh, this specific story reminds me so much of my own journey and I feel like it's a reflection of both our our life after death and our hope in Christ and our own resurrection, but also uh, a good uh, reflection of how our, we can live our lives and how, you know, everybody falls into a pattern of sin. And like I specifically came from a, a really bad pattern of sin. And um, I, I was a convert when I was 24 years old to the faith. And on my first confession, I walked in with a, a notebook full of sin, which we'll save for the next video. Um, but, uh, um, you know, God, God, when he found out that Lazarus was dead, Jesus wept and he wept for Lazarus. And I feel like that he does the same thing when we all fall into sin. And we can feel the heaviness in our hearts. And I felt the heaviness even when I wasn't receiving the sacraments. I could feel the heaviness of, of my sin and the effects that had on other people. And I still have sorrow for those sins, but God raised Lazarus from the dead, much like I feel like he raises each and every one of us out of our patterns of sin. When we go to confession, he, he pulls us out and he gives us that promise of mercy and um, you know a, a resurrection of our lives. Because also in the uh, letter of St. Paul to the Romans today, um, it's about the flesh and the spirit. And the concern of flesh is death, because we are, we're concerned of death. But if we have the spirit in us, he says the spirit who lives according to the spirit with the things of the spirit, but the concern of the spirit is life and peace. And if we don't have the spirit in us, when we fall into these patterns of sin, like the spirit's just dead, it's gone. And us as Christians and Catholics, we know that it's gone. We can feel that and we need to hustle back to confession. But through through confession, like it just, it gives us the promise of, of forgiveness and God's mercy. And it's like a rebirth. And for me, my, when I went to my first confession, that was like the aha moment of me for that God is, his presence was so real and it flooded my entire being with like this supernatural grace that that um, many people feel when they uh, when they go to confession, um, and it just it basically it just transformed my life, and that's when I knew like God is real and He is here to forgive us of our sins. And this flood of grace that I felt was just absolutely incredible, and, and to walk out of there like a new person, like I was raised almost like Lazarus, and how God gives us that um, that love that we can't find it anywhere else. So obviously we all, most of us know that, but um, it's just an incredible gift. And to, to come up here on Easter and uh, to be witness to another Easter and to remember God's resurrection in Jesus Christ and how in each and every one of our souls that is possible with every day. Every day we fail. Like every day I, I argue with my wife or I'm yelling at my children and I'm like, Lord, why do I constantly fall into these patterns of sin? And um, I just feel like through this story, he's saying, yeah, he's, he's, he weeps for us because he sees us constantly falling, but he's also there to like, encourage us and pick us up and to give us that, that secondary third, fourth, fifth chance, you know, 500th chance that we all need and that we, um, it's just such an essential part of our faith and I praise God for his mercy. So um, I challenge anybody that's watching this to, if you haven't been to confession, get to confession and ask for God's mercy and get the grace that God wants to give to you to fill up your cup so that you can start living a life that it has meaningful change to it and it can fill the hole in your heart that everybody's looking for to be filled for and it can only be filled by God. So. Amen and praise God.